What's up guys, Emily here, ready to take you through five healthy, easy snack ideas. I've got a whole mix of different things. A lot of them though are super, super easy and these are some of my go-to snacks. So I can't wait to share them with you. First up, we're gonna go straight in with this one an absolute classic which is going to be peanut butter and banana on toast a very slight twist though because i'm also going to top it with some chia seeds so all you need for this one to get started is to go and toast a really nice slice of bread i've literally just got a slice of classic white bread here ready to go i'm going to be using this my protein all natural peanut butter the smooth original one so that's what i'm going to be using is my peanut butter i've got a banana and then i've also got the my protein chia seeds in here i've just decanted them into my jar because i just use them so much so to start with i'm literally just going to lather lots of this peanut butter onto my slice of toast this is literally one of my favorite things to have pre-workout it's a great pre-workout snack lots of carbohydrates in the banana obviously and also it's just super gentle and easy on your tummy if you're like me and you don't like lots of stuff kind of sitting in your tummy when you're about to train so feel free to add as much as you like here i mean creative license totally so i've got a nice layering of the peanut butter on there now i'm gonna get my banana and chop it up i personally prefer to go with discs i just think it is better um, this banana is definitely past its peak but that's totally fine just means it tastes that much sweeter. So once you've got your banana ready, just going in with some nice discs. You can totally do it in long strips as well if you prefer. I just think it's easier when you have it in discs when you're then gonna slice your toast in half. So just dotting that all over. Also, if you don't like bananas, you can totally sub for something else. Dotting that all over. As soon as I've done that, I'm literally just gonna add the magic ingredients, which is topping it with a few chia seeds. This literally just makes it so nice and crunchy. It's so simple and it's so easy to do, but it just is really, really yummy. So I definitely recommend that if you've got some of these in the cupboard. And that is literally it, chop it in half. Enjoy, quick, easy snack, ideal for pre-workouts, ideal for just loads of yumminess. So that is snack number one. Next snack is definitely one of my absolute favorites and I also make a bigger portion of this sometimes for breakfast. It's so easy, it's so simple. So what I've got in my bowl here ready is some 0% fat Greek yogurt already in there, ready to go. Another fantastic thing about any of these snacks is you can totally tweak the portions to whatever you want. I've probably got around 150-ish grams of Greek yogurt in here but you can totally throw in however much you want. I'm also then going to add a few drops of the My Protein Flavor Drops. This is the vanilla flavor. I've honestly got so many flavors in the cupboard because it's so yummy, zero calories, and just adds such great flavor. You really don't need much whatsoever, so I'm literally just going to add a few little drops here just to add some really lovely, sweet vanilla flavor to the yogurt. So that is just going to get mixed in really quickly. Once that is then all mixed in together and all combined, and then gonna to start to add some toppings. So personally, I'm gonna go with strawberries and blueberries as my fruits. I just love berries. So this is what I'm gonna go for. It's also fantastic if you've got any frozen berries in the freezer that you can just slowly melt and top on top of this. So I'm gonna put my strawberries on. Once I've got those strawberries on there, and then also gonna add my blueberries. You can totally just throw this together however you fancy. And then finally, I'm just gonna to top it with some granola. Now the granola definitely, of course, is optional. You can also use a dollop of peanut butter or almond butter. I just always like to have some crunch. I don't know why, I just think it makes it so much yummier. So I'm just gonna add some granola, just a few little handfuls sprinkling over the top here. And that is it. Such a simple, easy snack really yummy really scale scalable to whatever portion size you're fancying or however hungry you are super high in protein and delicious okay snack number three is actually going to be a bit of a snacking dipping bowl which is literally one of my favorite snacks particularly for the evening when i'm sat in front of netflix i'm chilling out and i always want to eat something is that just me so what I'm gonna go for with this one, I'm gonna use the My Protein Choc Krispies. They come in like four little crispy pieces that I'm not even joking. Taste like yummy chocolatey rice crispy little treats. 
but they've got a really nice dose of protein in them as well. So I'm gonna start by popping those into my little snack bowl. I'm then gonna pop in alongside it some really nice big strawberries. So I'm gonna leave the tops on these because I want them ready for some dunking. So I'm literally gonna pop those down the other side. And then finally, to finish off this snack bowl, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of almond butter. This almond butter is so smooth, so creamy, it's literally so yummy, and it's perfect for dipping things into. So I'm literally gonna pop that into the bowl, and then I've got the perfect dipping dip <laughs> to play with. And that is literally it, so simple, so easy. I've literally just got my big strawberries, my protein chop crispies, my dark almond butter, and I'm just gonna pick and dip, and it's gonna be delicious. Okay, next snack is a super easy one that definitely doesn't even need a recipe because it's just super easy. So all I've got for this one is a freshly brewed, frothy, homemade coffee. You can totally also have a tea, whatever you fancy. And I'm gonna have it with one of the My Protein gooey filled protein cookies, 20 grams of protein, super yummy, and also perfect for dunking into your coffee. It tastes amazing, it's super simple, but such a great snack, getting you 20 grams of protein, and it is so easy to do. Final snack is going to be a really easy, yummy one again. So we're gonna need some rice cakes for this one. I've just got some very plain, simple, whole grain rice cakes, but totally just use whatever you have, whatever you fancy. I'm also gonna be using this almond butter again, Finally, I've got some chopped up strawberries and I've also got some mixed seeds here and I'm literally just gonna have a play with some yummy toppings. One of the things that I love about rice cakes is they're so easy to top with whatever you've got in the cupboard, whatever you fancy, whatever flavors you're digging or feeling, you can just throw a load of different things together. So I've already topped two of them with the almond butter. I'm just gonna top this third one with you guys now. So again, another fantastic thing is obviously you can just put as many toppings on as you want, as thick as you want. You don't have to put a load of toppings on. One of the great things about this almond butter is that it is so creamy and so spreadable, so you really don't need a lot of it for it to kind of cover all of the rice cake, but also you can totally layer it on if you fancy it. So, once we've got that ready to go, I'm then gonna go in with my seeds. Another fantastic thing is that these will stick to the almond butter because it will kind of stick in there. So it gives us this really nice crunchy topping that's also packing some nice micronutrients into this as well. So a great source of healthy fats, some micronutrients, and also just super, super yummy. So once I've done that, this is just a whole mixed blend of seeds, by the way. You can totally grab whatever you've got. I've just got a whole different mix of pumpkin seeds, all sorts of different stuff in there. Final touch is just gonna be to add some chopped strawberries. I really love strawberries, if you haven't already been able to tell from these snacks. But you, again, you can totally use something else. Apple slices are also delicious on this. Or if you wanna go back to a banana again, whatever you fancy. And I'm literally just gonna pop a few strawberry quarters on each one. So simple, so easy, literally zero effort. You can make as many or as little of them as you like. And that is literally it. Simple, yummy snack five seconds to make, one second to eat, because they're so yummy. So that is the final snack. That concludes the five healthy yummy snacks for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you did, and let me know which one is your favorite or which one you're gonna have a go at making down below.